the major label instead. You can have some for lunch. to another day of vlogmas if you are new to my channel hello and welcome my name is Lorene and today or right now I'm trying to quickly do my makeup because I have some content to film for Instagram I have a reel I need to film so I want to get my makeup done and get that reel done all while Amelia is napping um it probably won't happen she's probably most likely gonna wake up but I'm gonna attempt um what else also i wanted to talk to you guys about my hair loss update i'm sure most of you if you watch me for a while now you can probably tell that my hair loss is getting obviously worse very noticeably worse so i recently went back to the dermatologist and oh i need to um turn on the baby camera so i can watch amelia while she naps look how cute so yeah, I went back to the dermatologist and basically first they said that I need to go see a specialist because some of my blood work was elevated. I've mentioned this before, but it's just waiting for that appointment because getting in with a specialist is like, good luck. You're, you're going to die soon. No, but seriously. So I'm just waiting on that appointment to come up, which is going to be in, in December actually, next week. But in the meantime, they have me trying a new hair topical. And I'm probably going to explain this wrong, so if you have heard of this, don't come for me. I'm trying my best to explain it here. But it's basically hair stem, and it's a company that kind of like customizes this hair topical to you and your issues. So it was sent off to like a send away pharmacy. They take out whatever ingredients you don't, or they take out whatever medication you don't need and put in medication that they feel you do need. So as of right now, they're treating me as I have alopecia. So I have to grab the paper. I'll do that in a little bit and tell you guys what medications they included in this hair topical. It is a liquid. It's basically just like, it's really watery, but it just goes on your scalp once a day. I've been doing it at night, but I really feel like I should probably be doing it first thing in the morning because I've done it two nights now and I feel like what's happening is I apply it and then I go straight to bed and I feel like my pillow and the sheets are absorbing it. So starting tomorrow probably... I'm going to just start applying it to my scalp in the morning. But um, I was about to say something else and then I lost my train of thought. Darn. Oh, that's what I was going to say. It smells like straight up skunk ass. I kid you not, it is the worst smell ever. Like when I first got it in the mail and I opened the package, Max was standing next to me and I was like, did you fart? And he was like, no. And I was like, what does that smell? So didn't think about it later on that night I opened the bottle and I was like oh my god I was gagging I was about to throw up I was like I'm supposed to put this on my hair and just like sleep and I kept the first night I kept waking up smelling it and like startling myself like what does that smell it's so bad but if it helps my hair grow then I'm gonna like, suck it up and just walk around smelling like skunk ass but yeah it's it's definitely it's <laughs> Layla's like skunk I need to stop cursing but yeah yeah baby skunk um but yeah i'm gonna grab that paper later on and your what your knee is stuck 
How is that? Okay, not too loud because your sister's sleeping. But yeah, I'll grab the paper and read you off what medications are in there. But right now, let me do my makeup before I just keep talking and then Amelia wakes up and then I've accomplished nothing today. So, and I really need to get this real out there. So I will see you guys when I'm done with my makeup. check them out they i think they're a local michigan company but um i mean obviously they ship because they ship this to me so yeah this is this was fun i love doing stuff like this with my baby need milk. you need milk okay you want this one in milk need a bowl yeah we need a bowl okay let's see if baby daddy wants to try some first and then okay 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 that was fun i just like i not ate another one of the cheeseburger flavored ones because it was like loose it was like in my mouth so i had to like <laughs> that was fun that was weird um but now i have like a six minute video that i need to chop down to a minute or a minute and 30 because that's how instagram reels work but yeah head over there to watch it because i that was too much for me to include into this vlog but i wanted to talk about the hair topical that i was mentioning and what all is in it so here is the pharmacy. It's like a send away Smith Pharmacy. I don't know the full details, but I guess they like are able to make it cheaper there. I don't know. So like I was saying, they're treating this as it's alopecia. I wasn't diagnosed with alopecia, but like I said, I have other doctor appointments that, you know, we'll figure it out. So first thing is Finistride. I'm probably going to pronounce all these wrong. So if I do, again, don't come for me. Um, then my lipstick. <laughs> Then minoxidil. I feel like that's something that's in um, Rogaine, I believe. And then, oh my God, I don't know how to say this one. Sprenolactone? I don't even know how to say Oh my God, I like, you would think <laughs> with my college degree, <laughs> but I don't know. I didn't go to school for medical. I was originally going for law, so I don't know how to pronounce that. But anyways, and then tretinin, 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 tretinin. Trentinin, 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 you guys know that one. That's really popular in the skincare community because it's used for your face. But um, if you wanna, if you guys wanna pause and read, if you can, what each one does. And then we know what that back one does. It's funny because on this sheet they have metformin on here. It's not checked off because it's not in my hair topical. But when I was pregnant with Amelia, I had gestational diabetes from the beginning and I was taking metformin. I had gestational diabetes with Layla as well, but we didn't catch it till the very end. So I didn't take anything. I just dieted and monitored my sugar levels. But with Amelia, because it was so early on and it was the second time around, I ended up starting metformin, I can't remember, maybe like, I don't know, halfway through, but, or earlier than halfway through. No, maybe halfway through, yeah, because I refused it for a while, and then finally my doctor was like, you need to 
pick something. You can't just not take anything. So I went with metformin and I noticed my hair was the best it had ever been my entire life when I was pregnant with Amelia. And at first I was just like, well, you know, when you're pregnant, your hormones, blah, blah, blah. And then also with the, um, the prenatals, you know, your hair is just thriving when you're pregnant. But I feel like the metformin, like now I'm like, should I keep taking metformin? <laughs> but I think I do have some left actually from, I was saving them just like as memories, <laughs> like to pull out and like when she's 10 years old and be like, I took metformin. I know that's weird, but. I feel like metformin did help my hair grow, but it's not in here, which now I'm kind of bummed because I'm like, darn, now that I want to take metformin, I'm not. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys, what is going on with my hair loss because I remember last Vlogmas, I made a video talking about my hair loss. And at that time, I thought it was just postpartum related because that was when Amelia was about three or four months. So I was like, for sure, it was just postpartum related. But now that Amelia's 16 months old, I'm like, okay, it's not postpartum. It's definitely something else going on with me. So like I said, I do have a doctor appointment to figure out what exactly is going on and to kind of confirm things. So yeah. Right now, I need to figure out dinner. It is still early, but I just want to figure it out. I think I'm going to make Alfredo. And it's, this time of the year for us is so hard because it's after Thanksgiving. And then this weekend is Layla and I's birthday and then her birthday party. So all the grocery shopping that I did was just preparing for her party. We don't have like actual groceries for us for the house. Everything is like for the party. And I'm like, don't touch it. Don't eat it. It's for the party. So now I'm like, okay, well, what are we supposed to eat for the whole week leading up to the weekend? But I, I have pasta. I just don't have the right pasta. Like for Alfredo, I have spaghetti noodles or I have like elbow macaroni noodles. And I feel like that's so weird to eat with like Alfredo. So we'll see. I think I want to do the elbow macaronis because the girls like to eat those because they're small. Whenever I make spaghetti, it's like they just get frustrated with the spaghetti noodle. They're, they're, they're very complicated, picky little girls. So I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I was gonna do that. Some grilled chicken, obviously vegetables. Um, I do wanna film another Instagram reel, like a holiday makeup. And I wanna kinda do that now while my base makeup is done. Well, my full face, but I'm just gonna call it my base makeup and just kinda like add some holiday makeup to it. So I don't know, I may do that at night after the girls go to bed. All right, there's too many chefs in the kitchen. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> this one, you're good. You want to help. This one is here to F S up. <laughs> this is about to be really weird, but usually when I do Alfredo, I like to use penne pasta, but as you can see, I only have like a little bit left. So we're going to do the rest of this and a little bit of the elbow. It's about to be so weird. I never eat elbow macaroni, only when I make mac and cheese. So it's about to be weird. Amelia has just been obsessed with looking at all of our Christmas cards and photos and stuff. I don't think I've ever showed all the ones. So that was first year, obviously, when I was little. I was just pregnant with Amelia, maybe like a couple days. This was last year, this year's, and also this year's the Santa pictures. I didn't edit them because Max was napping and Amelia was like running amok in the house and I forgot to like touch up the pictures so they're like overblown my face just looks like a white blob so like I was upset when I got them but I was like whatever it was my fault can't go back these ones I touched up a little bit so they look better but those ones are hit
have to clean. I have to do dishes. Not happening, huh? Amelia, no. They're literally horse pills. <sighs> Girls are upstairs terrorizing the home. I just filled the bathtub. They're getting ready to get in the bath, take their baths, go down for the night. I don't know what happened. As soon as it was dinner time, all hell broke loose, crying nonstop. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just want them to go to bed so I can just unwind. Amelia's bottle is in the warmer and it was something else I wanted to say but I don't remember what so if I remember tomorrow I will tell you tomorrow because it's vlogmas and you will see me every day so make sure you're subscribed if you're not because I'm gonna post every day I feel like if I keep saying it then I'll do it so I will see you all tomorrow same time same place I don't know what same time but definitely same place Thank you so much for watching and bye.